Hello everyone, I'm Brad Henson, and today I want to talk about how we can drive high voltage, high current applications using only our Arduino. To do that, we're going to have to talk a little bit about relays. And more specifically, I want to talk about a pre-made relay module that you might find at Adafruit or SparkFun or even across eBay. There are a lot of advantages to using these pre-made uh, relay modules. Uh, they're inexpensive, they're easy to hook up to an Arduino, they also give us the ability to drive the relay either from an external power source or by the Arduino itself. Now for a little bit more specifics on how we're going to connect this up later on in our circuit. You'll see we have two channels here so we're going to focus on one channel. The first three header pins here belong to this relay and of course these three are going to belong to that relay. You're going to see one of them is normally closed, a common, and normally open. Now what that means is if we were to measure the resistance between a normally closed and common when this relay is not turned on or it's not activated then there is a connection between these two pins. Now when we activate and no connection here when we activate this relay that's going to flip will no longer have a connection here and it'll move to the normally open position. Well, when this is activated, it'll move over here. Now on the control side, when we connect our Arduino, if we want to connect uh, our Arduino in circuit with the relay, we would have a jumper that connects VDC, JDVCC, and VCC together, which is the positive rail going to the relay. And then we would connect our Arduino ground to ground and then our, in, our digital input pin to IN0 or IN1. Now, of course, that input pin is what's going to activate the opto-isolator, which activates the transistor, which then allows this positive rail to go to ground via the transistor. If we wanted to put this, or if we wanted to isolate our control circuitry, in this case the Arduino, from the rest of this board. We would remove this header and we would apply our 5 volt rail from the Arduino to VCC and 5 volts from an external power supply to JDVCC. And then the ground from the external power supply to the ground pin. And then we would still hook up our digital control pin to either IN0 or IN1. Now what this is going to allow us to do is the VCC and the IN0 IN1 are now isolated from JDVCC and ground. And so our external power supply is going to supply power to JDVCC straight to the relay. And then the ground for that to make that connection is going to go via the transistor. And then we'll use our control circuitry on the other side of the opto isolator to drive the digital pin to activate that transistor. So now we've had a chance to take a look at the module. What are we really getting out of it? To do that, we need to take a look at a schematic. So what I have drawn here is the basic schematic of that relay module board. Now this is only one channel. On this side of the schematic, you're going to have your inputs where we connect our Arduino. And on this side of the schematic, our inputs are connections for the device that's going to be under load. For instance, a lamp. Now there are a few key players here. One is the opto isolator. Not all relay modules have it, but a lot of them do. Uh, if yours doesn't, I would suggest looking at getting a relay module that does have opto isolators. Another key player is the transistor that allows our connection to go to ground, the relay itself, and then all the connections. For the connections, we have VCC, JDVCC, our INO or IN1 inputs from the Arduino and our ground connection. And of course on the load side we have our normally, our, our normally connected, our common connection and our normally open connection. So what's happening when we hook up our Arduino uh, and a, an external power supply uh, and, and try to get everything working? Well. If we have an external power supply, we're going to connect that external power supply, 5 volts, positive side to JD VCC, and the negative side, the return side, to ground. That is the power 
that's going to be used to drive the inputs of this relay, our positive side and our negative side of the relay. But to get this circuit to go to ground, we need to activate the transistor. That transistor gets activated by the opto-isolator. We activate the opto-isolator by using an Arduino with our input pin. So we'll drive 5 volts into the opto-isolator, which will activate its internal transistor, which then will send the signal and activate our main transistor, which then allows the circuit to go to ground. And then that will activate the mechanism on the inside of the relay. You're saying, wait a minute, JD, VCC, and VCC, eh, what is all that? You know, that starts to get a little confusing. What you'll find on a lot of relay boards is a jumper connection for both VCC and JD VCC. This allows us to either opto, opto isolate our, our control circuitry, and in this case, an Arduino, or to include that Arduino in the overall circuit. Why is that important? Well, if I'm not opto isolated from everything that's working over here and something goes wrong, that can then feed back directly into my Arduino through this connection. If I am using an external power supply and not the Arduino to power the relay, well then this blue line represents that separation. No, not once does the Arduino circuit ever physically touch the rest of the relay board module outside of activating the opto isolator. Now if we were to jumper the VCC and the JD VCC together, which is what you see a lot of times if you're looking at YouTube videos or uh, examples that other people are doing, this comes default. A lot of times there's a jumper across these. Then we're using VCC to power JD VCC. We're using our VCC from the Arduino, our five volt rail from the Arduino to actually supply five volts to the relay. And in that case, we're gonna use the ground on the Arduino to complete the circuit. So if you want to isolate your Arduino or your control circuitry, you want to remove that jumper. We want to separate VCC and JD VCC. Now what that'll do is force us to have an external power source, an external 5 volts to drive this relay circuit. So now let's do a practical demonstration. Uh, to walk you through what I have set up here, I've got a standard uh, 110 electrical outlet or outlet uh, lamp on the negative side, or it's AC, it's not negative. On the, on the return path, I have that going straight to the wall outlet. And then on the hot side, the positive side, I have it broken going into the common, so the center pin of one of the channels. And then I have the other connection on the normally open going to the uh, standard outlet. Now what this is allowing me to do is that when this relay is off and it's not active and you see that the LED is not on, there is no electrical connection between these two. Now when we activate this relay, it's then going to switch from these two being electrically connected to these two being electrically connected. And then that's going to create or, or create our circuit and ultimately turn the light on. Now I've opted to use an external power supply to drive the relay itself so that I can protect my Arduino, use the opto isolator. And so I'm using a five volt power supply or external power supply at five volts. I've got the positive rail connected to JD VCC and I've got the negative rail connected to ground. Now on the other side of the opto isolator, we have the five volt rail from the Arduino going to VCC and I have digital pin 13 connected to IN0. And of course that is our input pin to drive the opto isolator. Now off camera, I have a computer set up running uh, a graphical user interface that allows me to turn on and off these pins. Maybe in a future video we can talk a little bit more about that. Uh, just know for now that uh, I have a button here that allows me to activate or, or set this pin high and set this pin low as an output. Now one of the things that you might have already noticed is pin 13 is right now at high. 
So why isn't the connected relay at high? And the reason for that are these relay modules are active low devices. The relay is only going to go low, or, or the relay is only going to turn on when the pin goes low. When the pin goes high, it's going to turn the relay off. As a demonstration, I'm going to set pin 13 to low. And you say then that's going to activate the opto isolator, which is going to allow the transition, the transistor, to allow this positive voltage to go across the relay and to ground. Now there are a lot of other really cool applications that we can do with this. We don't necessarily have to use a computer and a user interface to turn our pins on and off. Anything that will allow us to control these pins and all of the cool stuff that we can do in our Arduino will allow us to use these relays to control all of our household appliances or, or other high voltage, high current things. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute. What if I don't have an external power supply and I really do want to drive the relay from the Arduino itself? I want to cut back on the amount of stuff I need in my ultimate project. Well, to do that, all we have to do is apply a jumper across JD, JD VCC and VCC. And then instead of connecting the ground from the external power supply, we're going to connect ground from the Arduino. So let's do that real quick and see how it works. I'm going to kill power so that I'm not driving anything here. I'm going to disconnect that positive, disconnect the negative. be safe when I disconnect my Arduino and we're going to add a jumper between JDVCC and VCC and so now the 5 volt rail from the Arduino is going to supply power to the VCC line and it's jumpered across to the JDVCC line and so this is now our 5 volts that's going to go and drive this relay and now we need a ground connection from our Arduino to the relay. Let's connect our Arduino back up. All right, so one of the downsides to using a microcontroller to drive, directly drive our uh, external load is when the microcontroller first boots up, it's gonna go through a powering sequence, which is what you just saw. So if you don't want that kind of flicker, you're gonna to have to add some additional circuitry to control that. So now with it rewired, we're using VCC to actually drive both the opto isolator and the relay. When we set pin 13 to low, we activate the relay. And when we send, set pin 13 to high, we deactivate the relay. So in summary, this has been a, a quick tutorial on how we connect a relay module to our Arduino, both in a grounded and isolated configuration. There are a lot of great resources out there on the net on how to take this to the next step. A little more information about working with relays and, uh, and Arduino. I encourage you to seek out and use those resources. Uh, until then, if this video has helped you along in your path to electronics, uh, make sure you press the like button and I'll catch you next time.